Today I'll be showing you 3 meta smokes that pros are throwing on all maps. If you watch all my videos so far, nothing in this video will be new, but the video could still be useful for you to put these smokes in your games. There's been a lot of pro matches played so far and I've watched over 75 plus demos, so I am an expert in letting you know these meta smokes. One way pro teams are taking mid control at the start of the round is to throw the window smoke as well as the connector smoke. With the connector smoke inside CS2, the smoke fully blocks off connector. I'm going to show you how ROPS does it. So first off, the window smoke. Stand in front of the trash can, aim here, hold D, jump throw, then jump on top of the trash can where you're going to crouch, aim here, then go ahead and W jump throw while crouch for the connector smoke. That's just one way to smoke bottom connector. There's a billion other ways to do so, which you can find in the rest of my videos. And then we've got this insane bottom connector smoke that lands on top of the ledge and fully blooms down, extends. And I've seen Art recently use this smoke. Go ahead and stand behind these boxes and you're going to aim at the tip of this antenna, then left click throw. This smoke can also be thrown from spawn. There's a viral clip of Monacy using a scope weapon to throw this smoke. Next up is the Astralis smoke, which receive a huge buff in CS2 because of the volumetric effects. So you're going to stand in this corner, you're going to aim at this wire, and then you're going to walk when you reach this point until you reach here, and that's when you jump throw. So here you go, aim here, walk, then go ahead when I reach that point right there, jump throw. I've seen this smoke used a couple of times in pro matches and you're going to see that the smoke fully covers left to right, leaving no gaps and it's going to prevent the T's from spotting you from either side here as well as the top balk here. Easily take mid control as CTs. In CSGO, the CT smoke would leave a one way if you jump on top of the first box. Here is a really good one in CS2, positioned with this mark on the wall. While you're standing, you're going to aim at this middle of the wood that's sticking out, jump throw. That's a really easy position and lineup so you don't forget. You see the smoke lands on top of the first box and just be careful if any CTs push through front missiles. No gaps on either side of the smoke. And then what's nice is that the one way is gone because the smoke blocks it off. If the CTs try to jump on top, at that point they would be exposed. With the most recent smoke update, it messed up the standard stair smoke. So with the standard way of throwing this smoke, you're going to see that it extends down to sandwich, which is an issue if the CTs can hide in it or jump down from stairs. And also look at this, it extends all the way out to the left. So if the CTs were on the jungle side, they could push out safely like this. I'm just going to show you one new way of the better stair smoke. Stand next to this wood pillar and you're going to look for this black mark on the wall and you're going to aim above the black mark on this white line, then left and right click jump throw. I learned this smoke lineup from Kerrigan. The smoke extends a little bit down the sandwich, but it's not bad. CTs can't really hide in that smoke without being seen. But look at the other side of the smoke, which I showed earlier. The CTs can't push out because it does not extend down that way. Most pro teams are throwing this bottom banana top ramp smoke from CT spawn. Stand behind the chair here, aim here, then W jump throw. And what this smoke does is it lands right here, giving full cover from banana as well as mid. The smoke will put immense pressure onto the T's as you cannot spot mid. It also helps take banana control because any T's holding from bottom banana and top ramp cannot spot car. The mid banana smoke from CT spawn is very meta in the pro scene. Stand behind the chair, aim here, then go ahead and jump throw. So you're going to see that it goes over the sky wall into the mid banana next to logs here right in the middle. And how the pros are using this smoke is you would Molotov close behind half wall and then you would initiate your banana control after this. So you would smoke deep banana and then you would Molotov deep towards the Broman log area and then you have banana control and then you could also use your HE nades. Another meta smoke that you could throw from CT spawn being that there is no skyboxes is this instant mid smoke from FaZe. This is a smoke that they showed off in multiple matches in IEM Sydney. This smoke lands near Mexi blocking off mid and the timing of the smoke as you can see it lands and blooms before the T's can even get up to top stairs. FaZe will only throw it from this spawn here and they have multiple players learning this smoke so whoever has this spawn will throw the smoke and it's a very easy lineup. I'm going to put the set pause down below in the description. Just aim here, then W jump throw. You can use the smoke like a G2 mid smoke, but this one lands much deeper. You can go aggressive with it. You can nade behind the smoke and so on. When Inferno was launched in CS2, we have the boost smoke that worked and then later it got nerfed and now it works again. How do you throw this smoke? Well, you're going to want to position with the gas, stand up. Then you're going to put your crosshair as shown, left click throw. I'm going to show you two flashes that you can pair it up. So get inside the cubby, 
throw this flash with a left click throw, then aim to the right of arrow, then W jump throw. You can see the two flashes here, and then you can see the boost smoke. And let's see it from the CT's POV. If I were to be on boost, you could see that I cannot see anything. If I move towards the front end of the boost, you could see that I could see over the smoke and then the smoke blocks off my vision and then so on back and forth. You can smoke top mid by throwing a smoke over this wall from the left side of mid. Stand to the left of this board and you're going to look for this wood and then look for the tip of this roof where these two points meet. This is where you're going to aim at and then jump throw. It's a very forgiving smoke. I learned this smoke from Alexi B. As you see, the smoke does take a little bit longer to land, but it goes very deep. And you're going to see that it blocks off all of this side as well as the cubby side. Check out my website cs2.app, a very useful and free way to learn CS2 like a pro. We have a date database where you can pick out the utility, map, and position. We have pro POV demos that you can watch to learn how to play a certain role or position where we upload one new POV a day. Your team and friends can learn pro tactics super easy from my directory. We upload one new tactic a day. And also check out our team finder where you can find a team or find players for your team. And guess what guys, all this is free. CS2.app, go try it out today. This nuke top main smoke that lands towards the end of the top main has become really meta in the pro scene for a number of reasons. First off, it acts as a normal main smoke, so CTs inside main cannot spot outside. This smoke gives cover to allow the top style player to drop down top main. One tactic that FaZe has using this smoke is a smoke off lockers and in conjunction with the main smoke, Rain is able to jump down safely or they can have somebody drop down like this and go through the main smoke. You only need two smokes for outside. A lot of pro teams are taking advantage of this. What's not to love about having an extra smoke save instead of throwing three smokes? And these smokes are super good because you see they would act like three smokes leave no gaps. I'm gonna show you the solo variation of it. Go ahead and get yourself stuck into this wall. Make sure you're standing for the first smoke aim here at this window, jump throw. For the second smoke aim at the third window, then you're going to W jump throw. Like I said before, there are so many ways to throw this to smoke wall. And here I'm just showing you the solo way to do so. So now you don't have to rely on your teammates to know these outside smokes. Tell them to drop you a smoke. I've seen a couple of pro teams and pro players taking advantage of this radio smoke on the CT side. So you're going to take a couple of extra steps farther than you usually would to throw this smoke. And I've seen a couple of pro players actually walk through this smoke here. And they're going to go up to the opposite side. They take the chance that there's no T's holding from inside this radio room. And you can see it with the widespread of the smoke that it covers all of it. Pro teams have been throwing this top stairs smoke a lot. So go ahead and stand next to this AC and you're going to put your crosshair here. Then go ahead and jump throw. This smoke is going to land above the stairs here, blocking off the vision from left to right, leaving no gaps. You can easily push into mid and fountain without being spotted. The T's with the best mid spawn can't disrespect the smoke. So what you're gonna see is after that player throws a smoke, they're going to set up to throw this flash, get behind the wall, aim here, then jump throw. And this is going to be thrown for your teammate who is peeking from stairs. So if that T comes through this smoke like this, they're gonna eat a flash like this, and your teammate has a free frag peeking from this mid stairs area. For B, you only need one smoke for the graffiti CT side. It's fully going to spread from left to right, leaving no gaps on either sides. Get yourself into water, crouch into this corner, remain crouched, and you're going to put your crosshair as shown here. Then go ahead and left click throw. In order for the smoke to not leave any gaps on either sides, you have to wait for it to fully bloom, which will take a couple of seconds to do so. Here's a smoke that Kerrigan throws for phases mid control. Stand next to the ladder and you're going to look for these two dots, this dot and then this dot up here. You're going to aim between the two black marks on a wall, then jump throw. The smoke will land in the middle of the stairs here and what the objective of is the smoke is it's thrown early on, prevents any CTs from peaking middle at the start of the round from the stairs as well as any offers peaking from top railing. This next smoke is paired up with a Molotov, so you're going to stand next to this trash can for the front toilet smoke, aim here below the dot, walk two steps forward, jump throw, then back up, and then for the Molotov for the banana that lands towards the fighter, aim here without moving your mouse, go ahead and strafe over towards the right till you're in the middle of this forklift, then run forward, and as you leave the shadow, go ahead and jump throw. A lot of pro teams are using this nade set, whether it be their own variation, phase, and fanatic that I've seen so far. 
This ramp smoke is meta, the one that lands on top of a ledge that extends all the way down. This used to be a one way, however not anymore with the new smoke update. This lineup is from Kerrigan and it's super easy to do. Stand in the back of sandbags and you're going to aim at this red tip then simply left click throw. This smoke will slow the T's ramp control progression and it's really good to use on the CT side. There's a new A smoke wall, two smokes that land on top of default and on top of headshot. They give you full cover like how a normal standard A smoke wall would do, but even more because they're up higher. So nobody can see you from headshot because it's smoked out as well as heaven. You can't even see towards back of ramp. So you would throw these two smokes from one position, stand in front of the sandbag, for the default smoke, aim here, left click throw, and then you're going to smoke headshot by aiming here, then go ahead and left click throw. Two very easy smokes from one position. Knox from Apex threw these smokes here in a match. Once smoke covers all of mid, go ahead and stand here, and you're going to look at the part of the board that sticks out and put it on the pole here, run forward and jump throw. I've seen a couple of pros throw this smoke, and it's not going to leave any gaps. Previously in CSGO, it would leave a gap towards this right side. However, you can see there is no gap. So yeah, mid to B smoke, no gaps. With no skyboxes in CS2, you get to see these insane smokes, especially this one here. Inside of Cheetah, there's a hole in the roof and you're able to smoke it from T-spawn and this leaves no gaps whatsoever. Position yourself at the end of this wall, aim here while you're standing, then jump throw. A lot of teams are throwing this smoke right now because it doesn't extend out of Cheetah. The smoke does bloom before the CTs can get into cave to spot your teammate to cross fast to heaven to help out mid. This next smoke I'm going to show you is for donut control for the T side. So if an opera or somebody was holding this angle or towards the back of donut, you're able to smoke through the rooftop here and the smoke lands right here. And how this helps you take donut control is first off, the CTs can't spot you from that angle. Phase will come out mid and use the smoke to their advantage to maul top off the back of donut, then take donut control as the smoke blocks off the donut tunnel, as well as if an opera is holding from Brokey. How you throw this smoke is in T yard. Go ahead and crouch and remain crouch with this part of the wall you're gonna line up with this part of the window then stand up and jump throw and as you saw earlier this smoke will go through the rooftop of donut and lands right here we're gonna see electronic smoke long from t-spawn stand at that part of the brick aim here walk two steps forward and jump throw you can use this smoke in a number of ways in this round c9 are going to fake the b execute while they go a g2 also uses a smoke every pro team is throwing these instant elbow smokes from ct spawn with there being no sky boxes it's going to help you take mid control i'm not going to show you the lineups as i cover them in a different video make sure to learn them it's very easy to learn link is down below in the description with the volumetric effects of the smoke for the b site you only need two smokes to give you a full smoke wall previously in csgo this right site smoke would not be able to do this and gives the cts a one way i got this smoke lineup from kerrigan go ahead and stand next to this wall on top of the box and you're going to look for the top of this shape thing here and put the tip of your smoke on top of it above it like this and this is while you're standing afterwards go ahead and left click throw the smoke is going to land on top of this brick here and you have to wait a couple seconds for it to fully bloom to give you the full cover. For the left side smoke, it's super easy. Just go ahead and stand between these two walls and then you're going to aim at this tooth here, the third one on the left, then simply jump throw. And now you know FaZe Clan's B smoke wall on Anubis. The next insane smoke that I'm going to show you is this dark e-box smoke. Did you know that there are holes through the roof here that you could throw smokes through? And this is a smoke that I learned from Fnatic. The purpose behind this smoke is you could isolate the CT player inside dark while you're executing B. Here's a lineup from Dexter's POV. Go ahead and position with that mark, then stand up, aim as shown, then jump throw. The smoke is going to bounce off this gap through the hole there and lands perfectly on top of the stairs. You see that the smoke is going to block off half of the dark side and it's going to make those two CTs useless. Complexity have a deep B main smoke that they throw coming out of CT spawn that gives them full cover from the T side to push out safely from B main. How you throw this smoke is position yourself top right of the stair, aim here, then jump throw for their smoke. Afterwards, you want to follow up with flashes for your teammates to safely push out B main. As you can see, no gap with the smoke. 
When Anubis first came out in CSGO, there were no skyboxes, and then they added skyboxes, but now in CS2, there's no skyboxes, and you could smoke heaven by throwing the smoke through the rooftop. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest CS2 meta, nades, tips, and tricks. See you guys in the next one.